Tom. A bus shelter must be built at Wrunschdaler Street 71 in Ghent. Let me check it out. Yes, indeed, that is correct. According to the planner, a bus shelter must come on that side right before the zebra crossing. Are there any possible obstacles that we have to keep in mind at this location? For example, to let a tow truck pass. And what's the height of those street lights over there? That is going to be okay. The tow truck will be able to pass underneath properly. But I see that on that side, the sidewalk is reasonably narrow. There is also a parking lane, but I'm afraid that we still have to take a small piece of the road. Let me check the width of the road over there. Just as we thought. I think it will be best to provide a temporary detour anyway, in order not to bother traffic too much during rush hour. But what about the traffic flow in the surrounding streets here? I think if we redirect the traffic here for the time being, we can avoid a lot of traffic jams. Getting a clear picture of the area without being present at the location. It is possible thanks to 360 degrees image database of Flanders region. Commissioned by Information Flanders Department, cars with a spherical camera are driving about 64,000 kilometres of roads in Flanders since 2014. The spherical camera takes high resolution, 360 degrees images. Faces and license plates are automatically blurred out. Aside from the pictures, a 3D point cloud is created, registered by a LiDAR system. This way it is very easy to measure distances on the pictures according to real dimensions. To visit the area virtually, you use the viewer. Type in the address and you will get to the 360 degrees view of the surroundings. You can move in any direction. Thanks to the map on top, you always maintain the overview. You can select the map you would like to see and you can also address a web map service. It is even possible to collect measurements and store the information in your own GIS layer. With just a few clicks, you can easily view pictures from different years next to each other and compare them. Distances and surface areas are accurately measured using various measuring functions. The database is updated on a regular basis and is not accessible to the general public. Thanks to Information Flanders Department, enter Flanders digitally in 360 degrees.